Hey everyone, March J. Gate here with a brand new episode of Monday Music Recap, where we recap the events from last week. Let's get started. Every Time I Die has announced they will be releasing their new album, From Past Unknown, on July 1st through Epitaph Records. Check out the track list below. Sleeping With Sirens and The Somerset have both announced they have begun working on new music. Rise Against has revealed they will be releasing their new album sometime this July. Frank Turner's new hardcore band, Mongol Horde, has announced they will be rush releasing their debut album on May 27th. Seventh, since this video is late as hell, it has already been released and you can find it on iTunes and stuff like that. Flyleaf has announced they plan to release their new album sometime in early fall. Palisades has begun working on new music for their next album. To the Wind has announced their new album, To Block Out the Sun and Sleep On, which is set to be released on July 22nd through Pure, Pure Noise Records. Check out the artwork and the track list below. United Nations, the side project featuring members of Thursday and Piano Becomes the Teeth, has announced they will be releasing their new album the next four years on July 15th. The Front Bottom has announced they will be releasing a new EP titled Rose, uh, which is set to be released on June 17th. Check out the artwork in the track list below. Allison Weiss has announced she will also be releasing a new EP titled Remember When, and is set to be released on July 22nd through No S Sleep Records. Maroon 5 has announced their new album it is either B or it's 5, but it's set to be released on September 2nd through Interscope Records. Stone Sour has announced they have parted ways, sadly, with Jim Root, their guitarist. Ghost will be entering the studio this fall. They plan to release their new album sometime in early 2015. High on Fire has announced they are working on a new album. For tours, Chiodos and Bless the Fall have announced a new U.S. co-headliner tour with support from I Killed the Prom Queen and Capture the Crown. And dates released. Pearl Jam has announced a new U.S. fall tour. Dates released. Black Label Society has announced a new U.S. tour with support from Woven War, the new band featuring the former members of As I Lay Dying. Dates released. Glass Cloud and Scale the Summit have announced a new co-headliner tour. Dates released. Set It Off and uh, Our Last Night has announced they will be heading on a new co-headliner tour with support from Hardest and Stages and Stereos. Dates released. And finally, the early November and I Can Make a Mess has announced a new U.S. acoustic tour that's set in July. Dates released. Any of the dates mentioned above, be sure to check out below. For signings, Hopeless Records has signed Have Mercy. Run for Cover Records has signed Crying Sign. And Flyleaf has signed to Loud and Proud Recordings. For new music, Slaves featuring Vic Puntes of Pierce the Veil, Starving for Friends. Every Time I Die, Thirst, Andy Black, that's Andy Beersack of Black Veil Brides. They Don't Need to Understand. The Dead Rabbits, that's Craig Mabbitt's side project. My Own Regret. Nightmares, Carnivals of Souls, Say Anything featuring Jimmy, Jeremy Bohm of Touche Amour, Lost My Touch, Say Anything Hebrews, Beartooth, Relapsing, Mongol Horde, My Makeway, Heart to Heart, Mentrosa, Judas Preach, March of the Damned, Corrosion of Conformity, The Nectar, Devin Townsend, Moon, Wolves at the Gate, Relief, Allison Weiss, Giving Up, and Rachel Taylor of He Is We, Come Alive. For new music videos, we have Driver Friendly featuring Dan Campbell of The Wonder Years, Stand So Tall, and Miko Relocate, Useless. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Monday Music Recap. Be sure to tune in next Monday for the next episode. Thank you, and goodbye.